This is a video on morning routines. I look around the internet and I find so many videos on morning routines of athletes and rap stars and high performers of various kinds. And I thought to do one, but maybe not for the reasons that you keep seeing online. A lot of people think that the way you start your day is the way your day will end up and is kind of the, the tone set for everything else you do. I don't personally think that's true. And I've changed my morning routines a number of times, but, and I'm gonna give you what I think is the best way to start your day, but it's, it, it runs counterintuitive to the ones that you hear. You hear a lot of people say things like, you should get up and make your bed because it tells you mentally to don't go back to bed to be productive. Uh, you have people like uh, Tony Robbins who like taking cold showers. I tried that a few times and its benefits were not anything that I would quantify. Uh, I used to have one where I would immediately get up and get dressed and do my coffee and then do about 40, 50 push-ups. And then I would feel productive and I would feel energetic and I would feel hyped up. Well, it was great, uh, but it, I can't say that it did anything for my mind, it just uh, played a trick on me, similar to coffee itself. And so after trying different tricks and different, uh, I've tried stretching, I've tried different things in the morning. Now, my only routine, the, one, the only one that I stick with is a routine of non-routine. And it is the routine of getting up and sitting up in the bed, not laying, but sitting up and spending an equal amount of time staring at all of the three walls that are to the left, center, and right of me. And I will spend about five minutes. And in that five minutes, what I am doing is appreciating the melancholy of the morning. I'm appreciating the fact that I don't feel high, I don't feel excited, I don't feel enticed as if I'm chasing some gimmick or something that I've gotten excited about. Instead, I feel calm and I feel very neutral, which is deceitful. And this is why I say it runs counterintuitive because you have a lot of people, like my friend Pete that I've mentioned on a few videos ago, a few months back, they're vulnerable to being sold the sizzle instead of the steak. They love the hype and the excitement and the, the energy of the day. They love being sold on all of those things because it makes them feel like they're more than they are. You want to do the opposite, in my opinion. You want to look at the normal delicacies of stuff like coffee, whatever beverage you have in the morning, and you want to see that as being tranquil. And this is why I no longer have exciting mornings. I have very tranquil mornings. I don't jump out of bed and try to run. Uh, walking in the morning is another way to appreciate the solace of everything. But even that involves some level of commitment. And to me, that runs counter to the day, to the real purpose of the day. The Chinese talk about clinging to things that are uh, outside of you. Everybody is striving. There are plenty of athletes. There are plenty of high high profile stars who are always looking for to do some great thing and they always sell you their sizzle. They always sell you their pyramid scheme, if you will, of excitement. They try to hype you up on the fact that you can be like them. And really all you're being sold is disingenuousness. You're being given an idea that may or may not help you. It may help you for a while. So when I get up, my goal is to go as slow as I can and to appreciate each moment. I look around at the, the walls, like I mentioned, I stare at each one and I look at it and I appreciate the fact that I am neither happy nor sad. I'm neither excited nor depressed. I'm completely neutral. And it takes me back to clarity, clarity in the morning, which is a beautiful thing because, and I go back to my uh, young days, my uh, father's father was an alcoholic and struggled with, he had a, blow, a boiler blow up in, the, in World War II and it severely injured his back. And in the days when pain relievers were uh, a lot harder to get a hold of, he would drink very heavily to sedate himself. And he would lay on a concrete floor so that his humpy back could be mashed back out and he still had shrapnel in it. 
And it was a very troubling story, but when we would go and stay out at the ranch as kids, we would see he would drink alcohol throughout the day. If you stayed a few weeks, you were okay. If you stayed longer than that, you'd start to see his dark side, even though he wasn't really mean to us kids. Not usually. And then in the morning, when we would go to say, can you make those, those uh, that bacon and french fries, Grandpa? We would hear him and the way he talked, I'll be right there, boys, was clear. He didn't slur his words and his, his response was immediate to questions. He was at baseline. He had the clarity of the morning. There was no hype. There was no influence of anything else. There was no, don't tell Mama that I, I, I snuck a, a Schlitz under the, uh, under the covers and then put it in the freezer out in the back. There was no deception. There was nothing going on. And he would get up and he wouldn't start drinking until about 10.30 and then the drinking would resume. And all the summer months when my brother and cousins and I were having fun, he was going throughout the day and he was losing himself in the, the endeavors of the day. Even though he wasn't working anymore, he was still out there you know, enjoying the bottle. And by the end of the day, he would be a very different person, as you can imagine. But we all do that. We don't have to be victims of alcohol because we all do that in the vein of chasing ambitions, chasing uh, desires, chasing false ideas. You don't need anything outside of yourself than you. So what I do is, along with the mushrooms that I have shown on other videos, I'll take something like Lingzi coffee if I'm in a hurry. This is Rishi mushroom, uh, uh, Ganoderma extract coffee, and it's available on Amazon and internationally. It comes from Malaysia. I'll just put some hot water and put it in a cup and I'll get started. And my goal is to look around and notice the things in perfect clarity. I'm not doing stretches, I'm not doing push-ups, I'm not doing any sort of, nor of routines that are extravagant. My whole point of the day is to listen and to see what the day brings me rather than what I bring it. So that's my morning routine. It is simple and the coffee, the energy it provides, the clarity of something like uh, Rishi extract, which is what Lingzi is, this is all secondary. This is all secondary. These are things that push me onward, but after I've had those five to 10 minutes of clarity with nothing outside of myself, no clinging, no longing, just clarity.